गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स माय नेम इज पोल सुवर्णा भगवान वर्किंग एज असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन जूलॉजी डिपार्टमेंट आर बी एन बी कॉलेज श्रीरामपुर टुडे वी लर्न अबाउट एक्सक्रिटरी सिस्टम इन इंसेक्ट व्हाट इज मीन बाय एक्सक्रीशन एक्सक्रीशन मीन्स इलिमिनेशन ऑफ नाइट्रोजिनस वेस्ट प्रोडक्ट और मेटाबोलिक वेस्ट प्रोडक्ट फ्रॉम बॉडी और सेल इट इज कॉल्ड एज एक्सक्रीशन दिज एक्सक्रीशन मेनली कंसिस्ट टॉक्सिक सब्सटन्स दीज आर इलिमिनेटेड फ्रॉम द बॉडी एंड दीज टॉक्सिक सब्सटन्स आर प्रोड्यूस्ड ड्यूरिंग द मेटाबोलिक रिएक्शन्स एंड दीज एक्सक्रिटरी सिस्टीम मेनली फॉर्म्स two types of excretory systems are present in insect in insects main excretory organ is malpighian tubules main excretory organ is malpighian tubules these malpighian tubules are long finger like cylinder and these malpighian tubules location in between the mid gut and hind gut these are finger like structure these are finger like structure and having two regions having two regions one is proximal end one is proximal end and second is distal end second is distal end these malpighian tubules opens into the junction of mid gut and hind gut having two parts proximal end and distal end this is mid gut this is hind gut and according to location of association and dissociation of these malpighian distal ends there is two types of excretory system first is basic nephridial system first is basic nephridial system this basic nephridial system present in some insects the distal end of these malpighian tubules are bathed in the hemolymph or hemocyl this distal end of hema malpighian tubules bath into the hemolymph or hemocyl it is called as basic nephridial system and these malpighian tubules absorbs salts waters from hemolymph and transport to the transport to the hind gut region this basic nephridial system forms three malpighian tubules are bathed in hemolymph second system is second system is crypto nephridial system crypto nephridial system in this system malpighian distal end is inserted into the rectum or closely associated with the rectum and forms crypto nephridial system this crypto nephridial system present in larvae of lepidoptera and larvae and adult of larvae and adult of order coleoptera the excretory system is basically composed of two components 
फर्स्ट वन इज मालफीजियन ट्यूब्यूल्स मालफीजियन ट्यूब्यूल्स दिस मालफीजियन ट्यूब्यूल्स आर लॉन्ग सिलिंड्रिकल एंड इलांगेटेड स्ट्रक्चर्स दिस मालफीजियन ट्यूब्यूल्स वेर फर्स्ट ऑब्जर्व बाय साइंटिस्ट मार्सिलो मालफीजी फर्स्ट डिस्कवर बाय साइंटिस्ट मार्सिलो मालफीजी इन 1661 इन 1661 एंड दिस मालफीजन ट्यूब्यूल्स आर गिवड नेम आफ्टर हिज डिस्कवरी The Malpighian tubules are present in all insects except aphids, except aphids, and some Thysanura, as well as Columbola order. These Malpighian tubules are absent. Their number, size, and modification. Varies from insect to insects. The basic number of Malpighian tubules are six. Basic number of Malpighian tubules are six, and these number varies from two to two hundred fifty. These number varies from two. To 250 in number, and these Malpighian tubules number again reduction or addition takes place according to species to species. In grasshopper, Malpighian tubules number is 200. In grasshopper, Malpighian tubules number is 200. And in cockroach, Malpighian tubule number is sixty, and these Malpighian tubules are formed in the form of bunch in the region of midgut. He at the junction of midgut and hindgut region. These Malpighian tubules forms two regions. First one is proximal region, and second is distal region this proximal region involves in reabsorption this proximal n involves in reabsorption it is called as brush border it is called as brush border when this sec section is taken when section is taken from the proximal n In this section, shows different cuboidal cells are present. Cuboidal cells are present, having brush border. These cuboidal cells are having brush border. Nucleus placed in the center. These cuboidal cells are large. Cuboidal cells are large, glandular, large, glandular, and having brush border. These cuboidal cells rest on the basement membrane. Rest on basement membrane. Outside the basement membrane, there is. Elastic connective tissue is present outside the basement membrane. Here, elastic connective tissue and muscles are present. Due to this elastic tissue or muscles, these Malpighian tubules show the peristalsis, and these proximal end is again main function involved in. reabsorption and open into the at the junction of midgut and 
handgut region next region is distal region this distal region is two third part of malpighian tubules and this distal region involved in secretion of primary urine called as honeycomb border it is called as a honey comb border honey comb border and this honey comb border formed due to modification of three marginal cells into 3 to 10 micron into 3 to 10 micron cytoplasmic filaments forming packed very close together cytoplasmic in this distal end free margin of cells modified into 3 to 4 3 to 10 micron long cytoplasmic fibrils arranged closely packed to each other forming honeycomb border and this this distal end is main function secretion of primary urine secretion of primary urine next part is rectum this rectum is handgut part mainly present towards the posterior region and this rectum is site for water and solute reabsorption from the excretion this rectum is present towards the posterior region and mainly site for water and solute reabsorption from the excreta next cell is urate cells next cell is urate cells these urate cell is also called as fat cells these urate cell is also called as fat cells these cells present in the hemolymph these cells present in the hemolymph in the body cavity main function of urate cells or fat cell is storage uric acid storage uric acid and this type of excretion is called as storage excretion this type is called as storage excretion in urate cells uric acid is storage and this type of excretion is called as storage excretion next type of cell is proctocytes cells next type is proctocyte cells it is also called as nephrocytes cells it is also called as pericardial cells pericardial cells these pericardial cells located in the pericardial sinuses in insects upper chitinous plate it is called as a tergum lower chitinous plate it is called as sternum and two lateral side 
plates are present it is called as pleura and these upper tergum plate upper tergum plate this space is present it is called as pericardial sinus pericardial sinus and in this pericardial sinus pericardial cells are present pericardial cells are present when these pericardial cells involved in storage of uric acid involved in storage of uric acid and when loaded with uric acid these are get attached to the upper tergum plates inner side of tergum plates and when molting takes place and through the molting these are eliminated through the molting these uric acid stored uric acid is eliminated here in malpighian tubules these malpighian malpighian tubules are bathed in hemolym or hemocyl when this bath bathed in the hemolym from the hemolym water and salts k plus potassium salt sodium salts as well as uric acid absorbed in the distal end of malpighian tubules and these transported towards the proximal tubule when these eliminate these nitrogenous waste reach into the proximal end here ph becomes acidic ph becomes acidic and due to this acidic ph these salts are precipitated and crystals are formed and these crystals are dumped into the hindgut region these crystals are dumped into the hindgut hindgut region at the same time in this proximal end where salts and water here salts and water again reabsorbed salts and water again reabsorbed in the proximal region and these crystals are transported towards the rectum again in the rectum region salts and water reabsorbed from the excreta and these uric acid is eliminated through with the help of uh, here with the help of fecal matter this uric acid is eliminated along with the fecal matter next point is functions of malpighian tubules malpighian tubules mainly involved in elimination of nitrogenous waste malpighian tubules mainly involved in elimination of nitrogenous waste these are concerned with removal of nitrogenous waste other accessory function of malpighian tubules spital secretion in spital bulb light production in boli boli tubula and silk production in larval neuro petra these are accessory organs of malpighian tubules thank you